hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I am here on my Madden 19 San Francisco 49ers rebuild in the Season 1 offseason. So before the first season, I literally didn't do anything to the team. I took it as it was, and then I played the first game, and I got demolished, and then I simulated the rest of the season. We finished out 6-10. and 10. So here I am. I'm gonna just going to kind of flip in and uh, show you guys who the best free agents available are. Uh, looks like there's a good cornerback. My old kicker, I don't care. Ingram. So like the top guy is an 85. So there's a few guys here um, getting down into it. You know, and they're in the 80s. That's really it. It's about to hit... Yeah, so we're already down to the 80, and then there's some, like, you know, backfill, things like that. So I have a ton of cap room at $41 million. Um, so I may try to sign a couple guys here. I'm not sure. But I am going to try to do some trades, see who is available on the trade block. Let me go ahead and run through and show you the team, see if there's any glaring needs, and maybe put some people on the trade block here. Um... <clears throat> see if we can get anybody. So, um, my quarterback situation is good. I can't get rid of Garoppolo. I'll kill my cap. So, and I'm going to keep him anyways. McKinnon, I, I'm i not sold, dude. I'm going to put you on the block. If something comes up for you, cool. I mean, because that guy isn't bad either. So, so, if something comes up for you, cool. If not, even cooler. Whatever. So, all right. My, my fullback is good. I'm fine with that. I would like to try to trade one of these guys. Maybe I could trade Pierre Garcon. Um, but I feel... I mean, I'll put him on the block. We'll see. I'll probably keep Goodwin. He, he has a he has a pretty high cap penalty. So I'll probably keep Goodwin for another year or two till he gets closer to 30. Uh, my, my tight end is fine. This guy, he's 35 years old, man. I can go ahead and add him to the trade block and see if I can get... A younger tackle anything um, as far as we go here my line is trash 73 81 70 and 79 so that's going to be a major focus because without a good line it's going to be impossible to do anything uh, left end I mean I got an 80 I'm all right uh, but I'm running a 4-3 right now so I mean right tackle I mean right end I mean same thing Defensive tackle. I need tackles, too. If I'm going to keep a 4-3, I may switch to a 3-4. It just depends who I can pick up. Um, but as you can see here, my linebacking core is fucking trash. I left out some linebacker. I don't have any. Middle linebacker, he's really good. And this guy was one of the candidates for defensive rookie of the year. So even if I switch to a 3-4, I have two okay middle linebackers, but I still would need at least one more because that guy is not going to be good. So right outside linebacker still, yeah, my Matt, he's 30 years old and he's 72. So cornerbacks, um, yeah, Richard Sherman, I can't, I'm kind of cap tight on him. I got to keep him around for a little while, but he's garbage. He's not going to be doing anything. Um, with, and then the rest of my guys aren't all that great. So I'm definitely needed. Uh, my free safety is an 80. So, I mean, that's all right. And he's young and this guy's 85 and he's like 27. So, and I need a kicker. So, I mean, there's not a lot of, like, positions I have nobody, but there's a lot of positions that need an upgrade. So, what I will go ahead and do here now is I'm going to go ahead and make some offers off camera. I'm going to take a break, um, make some offers to some free agents, maybe try to do some trades, things like that. Um, so, you guys don't have to sit here and watch me go through menus. And then I will be right back and kind of give a summary of, if I traded for anybody, and then we'll forward the week to see if any of my contract offers go through. So I will be right back. All right, now I am back, everybody. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot of free agents that I cared about, so I just made three offers for a cornerback to get some depth and a couple linebackers to really strictly just for depth for the most part. And I believe I'm the only person that bid on any of them. There wasn't really any people on the trade block that I was crazy about. So I'm going to go ahead and advance the week. 
and see if anybody wants my... Uh... All right, so two of those guys accepted their contracts. Looks like the left outside linebacker did not. Is that the truth, or is he holding out? Okay, so he's holding out. Um, nobody gave me any offer for for my trades. I don't, I'm not, I don't want any other free agents, really, so I'm just going to advance it again to week three. All right, so we got him. So I do have a little bit of depth here. And no, still nobody wants any of my free my people I put up for trade. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is go ahead and advance the week here into the draft. So, all right. Let's go ahead and start the draft. Let's see if we can get some players on the team here. Um, I let the computer do all of the draft scouting. So... We'll see what I got here. So let's go ahead and start the draft. So all right, guys. I'm going to pause the draft so I can have time to see who I want to pick. Advance to the next user pick. All right, so I pick eighth. And before I trade it away, who is here scouted? All right, so yeah, I don't need wide receivers. And I don't really need quarterback or halfback. He's a power back. Oh, left tackle. He's not really like his pass block is a his pass block power. I don't um, impact run. So this guy left tackle. He's mid first rounder. This guy is mid first rounder, and this is eight, huh? Any other? Oh, right guard is like one of my worst fucking positions. Impact, lead, and run. What's this guy here? Was he late first rounder? Top 10 pick, huh? Who should I take? Deep route, release, and short route. Man, none of these guys are really jumping out. To me, God, look at my team over there. My quarterback's a B minus. My halfback's a B. Everything else is a C. And then defense, everything is a C. Whew. God, I need like every position. So bad. Um, part of me just wants to take this guard or this tackle here. Part of me wants to take this guard, but I think I'm going to take this left tackle. We'll see, man. Who? I just need somebody that's going to be a staple because Staley's going to be out very soon. All right, we'll go with Ben Esquivel. Good pick, superstar. Bow. Nice, dude. Could be my left tackle for the foreseeable future. And guess what? He's going to start. So... All right, so we'll skip ahead in the draft to the next user pick. All right, let's go ahead and see who we can get here to better my team. All right, um, make my selection. Pick player. All right, who is available here? Scouted. God, is my scouting that fucking terrible? Well, there's a... That guy doesn't look very good. All right, wide receiver, left end, strong safety, left guard. Ooh. Right outside linebacker. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Block shedding tackle in pursuit. That guy actually looks pretty good. He Oh, wait. Other than... God, that wide receiver looks like he would probably be pretty fucking good, too. A minus, B minus. What is it? B plus. I am actually going to take this... Right outside linebacker, because I have a good feeling about him. Let's draft him. Bam. Nah, it says 19th over. I hate that. It always says that you take him at number one. All right. Skip ahead and draft. That's the next user pick. All right, round three, pick eight. Let's see what we can get here. He's a 78, the guy I drafted. So, I mean, he's going he's gonna to be a starter anyway. 
Oh, God. Scouted. All right, let's see here. Cornerback. Whew. Cornerback. Middle, ooh, middle linebacker. I need one of those. Cornerback. Zone press man. Cornerback. Oh, we're getting into fourth round here. All right. I want to go ahead and build up my linebackers, I guess. Philip DeMarco. Normal. All right, we'll see. He's a 74. Skip ahead in the draft. That's the next user pick. I mean, he has some good base skills, like tackling and things. All right, so make my selection. Pick player. All right, let's see here. Fourth round. Scouted. All right, so this cornerback is still here. This left outside linebacker. This defensive tackle. Hit power, finesse moves. This guy is a left guard. Fourth round. Um, who do I want to take? I mean, do I want to try to roll the dice? I think I'm going to go with the, the offensive line. Just to see how he ends up. Where is he reached? So he's yeah, 76. He's still he's still honestly not that bad compared to I have. All right, I don't think I have a fifth round pick, so I'm gonna go to the sixth round here. Oof, there should be some real winners left here in the sixth round. All right, let's see who we got. Who's available? Um, scouted. There's a wide receiver who looks like trash. Yeah, he looks pretty trash. Another wide receiver. Short route, spectacular catch. Defensive tackle. God, he's C+. I mean, that's that's not bad. C-plus uh, ratings in the, in the sixth round. Um, I guess I'll roll the dice with this guy and see. He probably won't be that good, but whatever. Yeah, he's probably he's probably terrible. All right, we'll skip ahead and we'll advance the next user pick. So I'm a, I'm gonna pick every pick. I'm not gonna trade any picks this time. I just need depth. Some of my players are fucking trash. So, um, pick player. All right, let's see who is available. A fifth round kicker who has he had a combined rank of two point eight. Holy shit. Release catching in deep route for that guy, huh? All right, who else is here? Oh, God, nobody else. So I have this guy who was a sixth-round, I guess. That's the only guy I've left to draw. I mean, yeah, 70. Yeah, I figured. All right, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get skip pen the draft. I mean, it's next user pick. All right, so then I need to go and see if there's any free agents I can pick up to improve my team so um what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna adjust my roster i'm gonna go ahead and move all right see so quarterback halfback so i need a i need a third halfback i need um let me i'll see who's there wide receiver all right left tackle all right I'm going to keep, I'm going to start this dude since he's a superstar. I'm going to move him and move Joe Staley to whatever position my worst is. So that guy will be a rookie on the left. Oh my God. All right, he'll be all right. Right guard is our rookie here. Nope. And then right tackle. All right. So I'm going to put him at right guard, I guess. I'm not even sure. I guess I'll just keep him and put him where he needs to go. So we'll go ahead and see how the rest of this is shaping up. All right here. Um, okay. So I got... Wow, that rookie is trash. All right. Um, so I got one linebacker. I got that guy who's a rookie. I guess with all these linebackers, I can do something i can make them least serviceable and then uh so i guess i'm gonna keep everybody where they're at and i need to pick up oh, i gotta all right so i need to get a little bit of depth in a few places so let's go ahead and advance the week go to the next week i'll see who's available as a free agent and then i uh, will we'll wrap this up so 
All right, let's go ahead and see who's available as free agents. Okay. Um, let's see here. Who do we got here? All right, I need, I need a halfback. I will go ahead and pick up. Is there any rookies available here? Who's this guy? Who is an elusive back that has any sort of speed to them? All right, let's see who's fast. All right, so that guy is the fastest. So, and he's 25, so I guess I'll grab him up as my third back. He didn't want a lot of money neither, so. All right, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and see who else maybe is that guy a rookie yeah he's a rookie was he a 60 yeah he's not very good all right so there is no quality oh that guy's not terrible i guess let's see here that guy's a rookie let me bring this guy in as a rookie i guess see how he does because I think the guy who's there is a 70 overall, so we'll get three rookies starting on the offensive line. That should be nice and nice and good. All right, so see if anybody else is popping out here. All right, nope. Right end, we're good. Left outside linebacker. All right, does anybody, is anyone even sort of decent? I mean, that guy, I don't really care. For that middle linebacker, anybody else? No, I'm good here too. There's that cornerbacks. Oh man. Oh, there's Eric Rowe. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it, man. I'm just gonna see how it rolls. Um, I do need a strong safety. So, Miles Kilbrew. Let's see here. Kentrell Bryce. All right, I'll go ahead and grab him up as a backup. So, all right. So, all right. I do need a kicker as well. So, where's my kicker at? Who am I grabbing as a kicker? There's Zane Gonzalez. Let's see if there's any good rookies here. Oh, he's already he's the youngest guy. So, I think that's the guy I have in my Browns season as well. So. We'll just sign him in. We'll see how he does and go from there. So, all right, everybody, that is it for the off season. We'll go ahead and get into the next season here and see if uh, the 49ers can uh, do anything. I'll go ahead and play week one, simulate out the rest of the season, and see if we make the playoffs. So, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We also have a podcast that is available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Links are in the description. It's also right here on YouTube if you want to check it out as well. But for Jonas, I am out. <laughs>